All right. I am recording. I am in my room. That means it's time for a review. Now, this sauce that I'm going to review is one of the last sauces. I think it's the last sauce that I bought from my last spree I made at the Burn Your Tongue stand. Uh, bought a, quite a few sauces. And this is the last one I'm going to review that I bought. Um, this one comes to, from us from Karma Sauce. Uh, this is their Good Karma. And Karma is based out of the Finger Lakes region of New York, Rochester specifically. Uh, if you guys have never been to Rochester, it's a beautiful city up there in, in New York. Um, been up through there once or twice in my day. But they, Karma for me, anyhow, is known as a big flavor first company. Uh, they do have a couple sauces that are a lot hotter. Uh, anytime you're using a seven pot Primo in your sauces, it's going to be a good tongue burner. And Ashes to Ashes, a big tongue burner. Uh, something I, I made a comment on a poll the other day on one of the forums for hot sauces and chilies. I consider myself somebody who can take the burn. I don't always enjoy it though. Not always. Uh, sometimes if it's a, a really nice, well-balanced burn, it's something I enjoy, but those have their places and a sauce like this has their place too. Uh, smelling this when I first open it, it has a really nice, robust, um, it does have ginger in it. I can kind of smell that. It's, it smells really good. I gave up space science to make great sauce. Lucky for me, I found a great crew for the journey. From dirt farming to slicing and dicing, we do it all so you can create amazing meals. Gino, the founder of Karma Sauce. Good karma is the best thing to happen to eggs since the home fry. The OG Mac Daddy of Finger Lakes flavor, bright, sweet, and tangy with butternut squash, sweet potato, ginger, honey, and apple cider vinegar. This suave condiment is jazzed up with just a pinch of habanero heat. Uh, visit us at karmasauce.com. Link will be, as always, in the description so you guys can go there directly. And if you're local to me, you can always go check out Roger's hot sauce section at the Quilted Bear in Ogden. I'll burn your tongue. Simply spicy stuff. Ingredients are bell and habanero pepper, butternut squash, apple cider vinegar, onion, sweet potato, New York honey, garlic, salt, ginger. With that, it's going to be a savory sauce. I have not taken a spoonful of this yet. I think Abby had some because the neck of the bottle is a little low. But... We're gonna give this a quick smell. I can smell what I believe is the butternut squash. It smells really good. It has a really sweet smell to it. I guess it smells a little bit garlicky, uh, a little bit of onion in there, maybe a little bit of honey, but I got my tasting spoon. It is a pretty thick sauce. Got chunks of pepper in there. That's got a really good flavor to it. It's a really good flavor. The burn, while there, is a very very mild burn and having habanero as one of the first ingredients in there i would have thought that it would have been more uh, but it's very mild burn i'm gonna give it a one on the burn and that's a one all around i think even a non-chili head would find that a little bit more enjoyable now the flavor my goodness the flavor is good 
Um, I taste a lot in there. It's really sweet. I like I like butternut squash. Um, it goes great in the soups, and my wife really likes to use it in some of her vegetable soup. Uh, you can taste the onion and garlic in there, and maybe a little hint of the honey. But I can definitely taste the butternut squash. I can definitely taste the bell and habanero peppers. It's kind of got a earthy, uh, citrusy flavor to it. But then it's got the sweet from the onion, garlic, and then a little bit of tang from the apple cider vinegar. And then it's also sweet from the sweet potato. And it's just a good all-around sauce. And I think, I think they're right. I think this would be a great sauce for eggs, anything egg related. Uh, if you're local to me, if you look close to me, this is my go-to sauce now for uh, breakfast burritos from either Beto's or Rancheritos. And if you guys are watching me review your products and you see me go for a second spoonful, especially with the tasting spoon, uh, you know you've made a good sauce. That's good flavor. I mean, that's good enough. I could just drink that out of the bottle and enjoy it that way. But that's a 10 on the flavor. Yeah, it's just something I haven't really... I've had a few sauces that have sweet potato in them. I think that's the first sauce I've had with butternut squash. And the two of those combined are really, really good. Um... I would even add this to uh, vegetable soup. Uh, it's a good breakfast-based sauce. So give it a go. If you're looking for something to really up your flavor, uh, maybe not so much spice. There are spicier stuff you could go for, uh, but that's that's an awesome, that's a great sauce right there. So definitely give that a look. Um, As always, link will be in the description for both Karma Sauce and Burn Your Tongue. I will have that in there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That'll do this for this one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new here. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you again later.